What's happening guys, it's Jack here from Golf Magic and in today's video, I'm going to be providing you with our top tips on buying a new driver. If you're new to our channel, then welcome. Thank you for watching and make sure you hit like and subscribe and check out golfmagic.com for all your golf news. Now, the driver is typically the most expensive club in the bag with modern drivers costing up to 500 pounds and it's the one that we use most frequently off the tee on a par four or five. So it therefore makes sense to find the one that is right for you. With no such thing as a one size fits all driver, given the variety of heads, center of gravity positions and adjustable gadgets now available, the driver selection process is often one of the toughest to decipher for players. Just simply buying a driver because you see your favorite tour player bombing it down the middle every time isn't really the way to go about it. There are a lot of factors to consider. So in this video, Golf Magic is here to help, as I'll be listing a few things to look out for if you're in the market for a new big dog. The size of a driver head is measured by volume in cubic centimetres and the maximum size allowed by golf's governing bodies is 460cc. All of the latest drivers sit between 440cc, which is suited for players who like to shape the ball more in the air, and 460cc for the players who crave more forgiveness. Size matters, so find the one that appeals most to you at address as confidence is key. When it comes to design, you're spoiled for choice, especially in the modern era of drivers. Of course, performance is the priority, but you need a driver that you like the look of because that builds your confidence at address. The latest drivers on the market are either made of titanium, carbon composite heads, or a bit of both. Titanium has become a particularly popular choice for driver heads because it is a strong, light, and durable material. Carbon is a popular addition in modern drivers as it is easy to shape and it also saves a lot of weight in the driver, meaning it produces more speed. When it comes to the crown, you also want to not only find the right shape as you stand over the ball at dress, but also the right design and colour that fits your eye. Some crowns are shiny, and others have a matte finish that reduces glare. Our third factor is purpose. Now I know what you're thinking, it's obvious, the purpose of your driver should be to go long and far down the fairway, but there's more to it than that. If you're a confident driver of the ball, you're probably going to be looking for a driver that goes as far as possible with low spin and you won't be too fussed about the forgiveness element of the driver. But for players who aren't as confident standing on the tee with a driver in hand, forgiveness is going to be one of the most important elements of your new driver. So if you're a player who loses quite a few balls from the tee, then buying the driver you see in the hands of Rory McIlroy might not be the most suited one for you, which leads me perfectly onto our fourth factor, weights. Do you want or need a weight system in your driver? A lot of modern drivers feature sliding weight technology where you can move weights around to promote draw or fade or even make the driver spin more or less. If you're looking for a driver that's all about forgiveness, then you probably don't need a weight system in your new driver. For example, the new TaylorMade Sim driver is an absolute beast and features a sliding weight, perfect for those players who place a premium on shot shaping. But TaylorMade also released a Sim Max which although it still offers lots of distance, it focuses more on the forgiveness side of things, making it easy to launch off the tee. Golf Magic's next buying guide factor is shaft flex. Shafts are important in all clubs, but especially drivers. Using lighter, less stiff shafts will produce a higher, right to left bias ball flight, while heavier, stiff shafts will launch the ball lower with a higher tendency to shape the ball to the right. The right shaft can help players hit the ball further, straighter and more consistently. Most manufacturers will offer drivers in regular, stiff and extra stiff shaft flexes. Other flexes include light or ladies flex, senior and more extra stiff options. Our final factor is custom fitting. Now, although this isn't a physical component of the driver, it's probably the most important element of buying a new driver. These clubs are expensive and you can't work out what's perfect for you by guessing. You need data and statistics from the help of an expert. Custom fitting sessions don't cost much to do and don't take up too much of your time. So if you're buying a new driver, then do make sure you get custom fitted. Knowing the exact shaft that's right for you and your ideal setup means you will get the very best out of your new driver. So there we have it guys, that is Golf Magic's top tips on buying a new driver. If you're in the market for a new driver, then I hope you found this video useful and as always, thank you for watching.